Let's go to the desert. Our next stop. Taking us by no coincidence, I'm sure, on a tour of the places that we've been. One who is giving the designers a lot of credit could say that picking up these side quests from Pascal's village in particular is the game saying, hey, look at these areas you get to visit again. They may have even expected me to go on the roller coaster ride again. Just to see. I'm starting to wish there was a fast travel option. I can't fast travel from any, any, um, uh, any, well, I'll get it this time, I guess. Uh, from any of the access points, can I? I can only do it from that one in the resistance camp thus far. I forget, I think there was a, a bit early on about how I can unlock other access point shit, but... I've oh, forgotten it, I've oh, forgotten it. <sighs> Ta-da! So, to the desert then. A thought occurs whilst I pass by this area. Splash, 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 splash. Is A, this game is freaking beautiful. B, this is rebar, not a code. What freaking tool I am. And C, what's over here? And why is it adorned with flags? I'm doing side quests. I don't feel like there's any better opportunity I have to do this now. Oh my, this is rather intimidating. I wonder if we could fall 9S. You try first. There's a bit of sway there. It's okay. Oh, item. So where's this place then? Oh, 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 oh wow. Just listen to that. Birds and the wildlife. This looks like maybe once like an entertainment center or something. Whoa. An elevator of action then I guess. Ah, uh, frame rate, come on, behave yourself. I'm sorry about the choppiness, guys. I hope it's not bothering you too much. Oh, there's a chest over here. So not a full-on resistance camp, as I sort of assumed by the banners. Like, this is kind of a natural place for them to set up. I wonder why they chose where they did. Maybe just natural, like they set up there at some point because, like, it has gates and stuff like that. It's more secure. But this is prettier. And if we're learning anything from this game, is that pretty matters. Hmm. Can I? Whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. One day, triple jump. Oh, hello. Maybe I should be writing those down. Tell you what, somebody in the comments do it. <laughs> I won't pay you or anything like that. I won't even say thank you, but do it. Because... Some YouTubers expect that. <laughs> no, I don't ask for your effort. I just ask for your undying loyalty in the end times. Hey, there's an area down here too. Oh, you don't know about the end times? Well, let me tell you. See, machine life forms are going to invade the earth and then women's necks will start spouting rivers of water. But it will be delicious, so it's fine. Where what am I doing? I could make that jump. Where am I going? I'm just exploring because this is an open world and that's what you're meant to do. A tree seat. <laughs> In the most unlikely of places. Oh hell. Just be careful. You can definitely fall. I've done it before. 
Uh huh. Oh, oh. What the hell is this place? Uh. Um. Hey, everybody. Whoa. It's a little dark down here. I feel like I'm being pushed back by my weapons. Ah, let me out. I cannot see. These are level 20. They're all level 20. I'm leaving as soon as I am able. Ah. So this might look like a hot mess on YouTube. Ow! First hit. Okay, okay, target prioritization here. Yeah, they won't even come up into the air with me. They're no fun. Will some of you die, please? Yeah, virtue straight in. Eat swords, stupid! I don't even know where that went. Ah! Damn it! I got leveled up and immediately got hit again. Well, I know where we're not wanted. Holy crap. <laughs> I mean, I'm a little bit proud of myself for only getting hit twice through that, that fight. I mean, there are slow enemies and everything, but still. And these are kind of like standard items as well. Maybe the items are balanced, but the enemies aren't. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, though. I don't even really know what level I'm at. What about those guys? Hello? Level 11s and stuff. Oh, level 26 and shit. Ah, fuck you, monkey. Bye-bye. Now let's leave. <coughs> anyway. Let's go. <laughs> Don't know what the hell's down here, but it's not for us at the moment. Not even really sure what level I'm at. Uh, I am level 11. Which explains why I saw a level 11 at the top left of my screen when I targeted that guy. I thought it was the enemy. I don't really pay, haven't really needed to pay attention to the levels too much so far. But I'm halfway there. Good to know this place is here. It looks like a secret dungeon or something. Up. Well, up we go. Oh, hello. Well, okay, okay, no, 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 whoa, 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 think about, think about the jump, think about the jump, think about the jump. It's back there somewhere. Okay, there we go. Yeah, getting back is a little harder than going back in. So, hmm, that was something. What's a big old cave system like that doing down there, I wonder? Sorry if you can hear the rustling, I was just moving the microphone cord. Well, I might hear about the mooses again. The meese. Well, let's just go to the desert. Oh, and let's, let's climb a tower. Oh my goodness. Why haven't we done this before? Oh, sorry. Bit of a revealing shot there. Um, silver ore, silver ore. Cool. Well, I mean, the view itself is almost reward enough. Now, I gotta... I kinda gotta wonder, and I don't think it's gonna be the end of the world if I do this. So it says saving possible, so let's quick save. 
I just want to know from how far I can fall. Let's find out. That's not even that bad. Cool. Thought it might even kill me from there. I'm an android though. I'm able to take falls. For no other reason than durability, really. Ignoring items now, being scavenging for long enough. Let's get to that desert. And we gotta find both another fan. In what maybe like a desert village. Woo! Very fun. <laughs> you don't get to turn around again. Not in this lifetime. I'm liking it. Indeed I am. So into the desert we go. Let's remind ourselves what we're doing. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, little sister, I went to the desert to loot her parts to repair the older machine sister. This convoluted mess of a uh, quest is, um, somewhere here. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. So that's Lost Girl. And then the John Paul thing. Maybe it's going to give me a more directed... There's a question mark there. Let's make our way to that. What's this? Desert Supply Trader. Custom Marker? But it's got a question mark next to it. But I think I should know what that is. I've already unlocked that access point. No, it must not be the access point because that's it right next to it. Hmm, I do not know then. It's just marked there. And then... Mm, maybe the marker for John Paul's thing will be made clear to us on the way. <coughs> Excuse me. So here's the question mark. Leave me alone, jackass. I can't deal with your weird hobbies anymore. Like, I care what you think, jerk. Ah, yes, the quest markers. I forgot about them. Hello. What was her voice like again? I don't know. Oh, hey there. L listen, she just spoke. I'm gonna give her this voice anyway. Listen, just ignore that guy. Selfish fool refuses to help me with my work. See, I'm doing a study on the excitement levels of androids while in battle. But I need to record combat data from the newest models in order to, re to reach more study conclusions. So what'd you think? Fun, right? Uh, carefully turn her down. It makes sense. Like, they're still technically enemies. I can, I can kill some for some combat data. All right. Good to know not everyone around this joint is a spineless hunk of crap. Here, follow me. Well, cool. Uh, that's not our voice. I was just channeling envy. All right, see that jerk over there? I need you to get combat data for him. Science will pay you back for this, I promise. Now, fight! You're just trying to get Andres to fight for you. Oh, he's level 20. Oh, we just dealt with a few of these. Ow! Quite the arena. Mission completed. Uh-huh. So his research was updated. Somebody died to this thing, I believe. Which maybe explains why there's a couple bodies here. That was a level 20 enemy. We didn't have much trouble with it. Hmm. Combat is fairly simple, you know? Like, even the fact that I was able to carve my way through, like, loads of level 20 enemies down there. Maybe I should take that as a sign that I shouldn't really be able to do that and crank the difficulty. Hey. Oh man, oh man, oh man, that was great! Hey, did you know that Android Battle Fever is actually quite similar to the human emotion of love? So, if we want to know what all those hu old human records are always going on about, all we need to do is let our fists fly. Oh! Are you an android as well? Because you have a mask. Makes this whole thing feel more romantic, don't you, don't you think? Hmm, I still don't have enough data. I could use some more help. Keep your hands to yourself. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so I need you to wipe out those enemies there without taking any damage. Like, at all. Zero. Zip. Nada. Now it's time to fight in the name of science. Switch it up. 
I've done fights where they're taking damage before, but it's always tricky, so let's just click carefully. Countering. Where am I? Ah, they're all level 20. Ow! That was not pathetic. <laughs> really started to chat my crop. Yeah, she, she's an android. Fine, 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 fine. We'll do it. And we'll do it your way. Yeah, fussy bint. I need to... Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna do the voice anymore. It's actually painful. Alright, let's get rolling then. I will do. Let me just, um... Oh. I think I want the... The laser. pathetic as well. Fine. Okay, so this may take us a few tries because I'm actually trying not to get hit for a change. It usually doesn't matter. But, like, I do not... You guys see me. I do not usually get hit this much. So let's just do a little bit of cutting, shall we, whilst I sort this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Requested mission completed. For the record, only the second try after I started cutting. The first try, however, was actually pathetic. Yes, I love you, Orgoons. I really do. Just look at all this data. Yeah, I think she is an android. Speaking of Orgoons, I'm a bit surprised you types are so intellectual. I thought combat models would be a bit more dense, less thinking, more killing, and all that. Frankly, giving you any kind of intellect at all strikes me as pointless. Huh. I mean, charming. <laughs> more data. I need more data, and you are going to help me, right? That's a rhetorical question, by the way. Yeah, freaking fine. It's kind of fun. Still not bad enough, eh? I like you. You've got guts, metaphorically speaking, of course. 30 seconds or less. I send a fight in the name of science. Sure thing, buddy. Ow! Stop! Fucking cartwheeling me. Changing weapons. Oh, I'm up in the air. Ah uh, ha ha ha, come on already, yeah, you come on already. <laughs> 30 seconds, man, this is tough. Okie dokie, smoking. Systematic, first of all, laser. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> One second remaining. Second try as well. I don't think we need to do any cutting there, so no need for proof, I guess. Sweet! My health's okay. Got yeah, a small recovery, though. Hello? Holy crispy crap on a stick! Now this is data! Here, look at this. See this reaction? It proves that android brains contain an algorithm which allows them to die drive pleasure from battle. Without that, we'd probably have stopped fighting a long time ago. What a brutally efficient piece of evolution. 
It's possible that this is based on an identical pleasure center of the human brain. Man, these flesh bags really were something. I mean, Battle Rush? It's definitely a human thing. I just need a teensy bit more data. You look, you got nothing better to do, so give me a hand here. Yeah. Excellent, you're the best guinea pig a gal could ask for. This should be the last bit of data I need. Oh, great. What the hell's going on with their shields and shit? Now it's time to find the name of science. Can't do the voice anymore. Okay, now's a good time, now's a good time, now's a good time. Go, 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 go. Shit, doesn't take away the shields. Ah. They're electrified, damn it. Wow, here we go again. Oof, okay. Um, I wonder if the hammer is probably a good, a good one to use for this. God, my voice is shot after doing that voice. Oh. <clears throat> oh, God, excuse me. Um. Bring down the hammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, baby. Yes! <laughs> Ooh. Boya Kasha. God, it was tough. Phew. This better be the freaking last one. Bloody hell. Bloody, nasty, guts through hell. Do you know what I just discovered? The excitement we feel in battle is caused by a type of- oh, fuck this. The excitement we feel in battle is caused by a type of pleasure-generating chemical produced in our circuits. Anyway, I think I can localize this substance and turn it into a drug that will help expand our combat abilities. All these advances are all thanks to you. See, I told you science was the best. Anyway, keep an eye out for that drug. Once I get it synthesized, it's all yours. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Not with the effort of the combat, just the bloody droids and shit. <laughs> oh, that was fun. And challenging. Now I'm kind of... Now I'm satisfied that I've got the combat, I think, calibrated to the right difficulty. That well, on hard mode would have just been, like, impossible for me. But that was, like, meant to be a challenge, and it was. Oh. I think those guys are getting taller. So how the hell do I get back to the desert again? I think it's this way. Are you hostile? Yep. Report. Mail notification received from access point. More mail. That's cool. So. Ah, that does bring me down. I noticed in combat it wasn't always like, help me slam down. I kind of liked the slam. You know, maybe um this might work a bit better. If my weapon set was more like this. I think the Ancient Overlord is faster. Nice nice you shooting, guys. What do you do about a robot that is helpless but who wants to kill you? Who knows? But into the desert we go again. What's that there? Oh, well, it's just nighttime, but still. Still not paying too much in the way of attention to that. I shouldn't have tripped there. That was that should trip trip. Oh, okay, I could have tripped there. There's nighttime back there, but it's not worth it. I'm a busy gal. Got places to go, people to be. We are in the desert again. Yes, um. Um, hello there. Hello. Testing, testing. Pascal. Uh, Pascal, is that you? Nine uh, S. Yes, it is me. Many apologies for the sudden transmission. I heard that you were searching for the missing child. Yes. Well, if you would, please consider this a personal request for myself as well. Go find the child as quickly as you can. 
She's such a good little girl, and so fond of her sister. She's probably somewhere around the desert at the moment. That's where she's likely to find the dented plate her sister needs. Got it. Thank you so much. And please be careful, all right? Sure, nice lady. Sure. Riding the dunes. Let's get out of there. There's some robots. And here is the kind of center of the area that I marked. Is it still the same though or has it been updated? Oh, feckin' there. Yeah, it's changed. It's changed! Lost Girl's meant to be over here now. Any word on anywhere else? No. What's this over here? But that's Pascal's village, right? That's the desert housing complex, so they're there. Okay, that's fine. That's kind of in the direction I want to go anyway. Now we're in the desert is hard, by the way. Like, running through all the sand and making me slide every now and then. Sliding, which is not... <sighs> Sliding in this is not as, like, flowing as it is in, like, Journey, for example. Sometimes it just feels like it's kind of slowing me down. Is that... Hello? You're big. Hey there, are you the machine who came out looking for a spare part? Huh, who are you? Your sister asked us to look for, look for you. She did? Really? Really. So, what do you say we head home? Wow, I was so scared. You gonna follow me now? Right. Let's get her back to Pascal's village. How'd you get lost out here anyway? I was looking for my sister's part, but then I got scared. <laughs> oh, come on now, don't cry. Did you at least find what you needed? Yeah, she'll be happy, right? I'm sure she will, but I bet she'll be even happier to see you back home safe and sound. <laughs> it is all very realistic. Just make sure nothing bad happens to her. I don't understand why other machines would. Whoa, 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 whoa see? <laughs> I don't know. No one made the desert. It's just an area ah! that lost all its vegetation due to a lack of precipitation. This caused lasting changes in the soil, which means plants aren't able to. What's soil? Soil? Uh, it's dirt. Ground. The stuff we're walking on? Oh, I like ground. Cool. Heels in the desert, Tubi. Uh oh. Ow. You okay? You don't seem to have a health bar, which makes me happy. She also walks at a pace which is faster than my walk, but slower than my run. It's making it kind of hard to keep pace. Timmy! I don't know. The wind is just a force caused by changes in temperature and atmospheric pressure, and huh? That's actually a hard question now that I think about it. Yeah. Kind of deep, really. I mean, where does the wind blow from? What do you think, 2B? Don't know, don't care. <laughs> I care. I've Googled that before and was never quite able to get the right answer from it. Hell. Let's keep an eye on her. Oh, why they're so interested in attacking her? Maybe they're different factions or anything. Die, desert people. Thinking about it, there are because what? Because the amusement park machines were separate um, from the machines of Pascal's village, and it makes sense those desert ones are too because I killed a bunch of them. 
I guess maybe Pascal's people heard about me kind of carving my way through robots in the desert and want to sort of head me off of the pass. Um, Let's show them. Well, machines can't really make children. Neither can androids, now that I think about it. Uh, to be? Little help here? No. Huh? You're the chatty one. Work it out. Oof. Wow, it's getting late. Let's get you home already. Fucking movement engine. Ah. <laughs> oh, timing. Fucking timing. Timing. That was blame balls. Oh, shit. You can see that guy there. Well, that was overkill. That shockwave thing's actually pretty useful. Blow up. There you go. You know, you are cute. I don't know how long it is back here. I don't think I've ever been to the village this way, though. So it'll be good to know this uh, this route. Yeah. Hey, I know this place. I'm gonna be home by myself now. Cool. Thanks, Mister. Thanks, Hermie Lady. Oh, I'm <laughs> here. You can have this. Cool. A pink ribbon, of course. Bye bye. bye, -bye. A pink ribbon. That's right, walk off shot. Oh. Sure in <laughs> Well, that was exhausting. It was a little. Yep. Yes, it involves things that you can never and will never do or have for that matter. Interesting. So does a little sister rule about age, Joe wonders. Or does she remain that kind of innocent forever? What's up, buddy? Ow. <laughs> Said, show. That was kind of mean. What's this? And I wonder what these structures once were. Were they maybe the remains of highway? Because this desert, like, a few thousand years, deserts can take anything, you know? What's over here? <clears throat> Excuse me. Whoa. An oasis? 